Hello, it's me, Crazy Rebecca, Dances with Pitbulls. Welcome back to my series, How to Make a Crazy Quilt. This is episode four. Oops. Ooh, situation normal. Episode four, not eight, four, just four. Um, embellishments. Let's gather up some embellishments and have them on hand for when we get our blocks done. I say that's an excellent idea. Okay, this, this is the block I pieced on camera with my machine, and I have started embellishing it. I have lace motifs, fake pearls, embroidery floss, bugle beads, satin ribbon, size six beads, some sequins, yes. And it's not finished. I like to put little French knots or something on these to make, make it look like cherry blossoms or something like that. Then when I get it sewed together, if this needs something, when I get all the blocks sewed together, then I can put something there. Maybe another one of these with beads coming off of it. We'll see. Okay, let's, let's talk stuff, man. I went through a lot of my stuff. I got beads. These are colored fake pearls, white fake pearls, larger fake pearls. Now, I don't have them all in here, but I have like a ton of these. I don't think I'll be using that green one, but you never know. Here are some, like, cloisonne beads. I liked them because they had pink and white on them. Pink and white on black. Buttons. Look at the little pink apple. I love these things. They're getting hard to find. A lot of traditionalist would not use those on my on their crazy quilts but I am not a traditionalist somebody gave me these these are gorgeous okay you saw me just dump these these came from genie when I, I think they're supposed to be earrings, but I'm just going to put them on my crazy quilt. We have butterfly sequins. We have these kind of sequins. You use them with a bead. Have a bunch of those. These are size six. These are bugle beads, and I have those in black also. These kinds of buttons. I have a ton of these too. I just have to find them. These are vintage pink beads. And so on and so forth. So I just keep them in a tray like this, and when I'm ready for this, I set this in my lap, and I work on my blocks. So what else can you use? Satin ribbon. Why is this like this? I have no idea. I think I bought it like that but you can make 
flowers. You can crochet flowers and put them down. You need a big pokey thing. You need a pokey thing. If you're going to use this type of ribbon, you need a big needle with a pokey thing on it to make a hole in your fabric that that ribbon will go through. And you, you might have to strong arm it, but it can be done. I need to put that back or else I'll lose it. So I used it with this needle. But I wasn't really going through the fabric. I just threaded it. I did a chain stitch here and I threaded the ribbon through like that, which is another way you can use it. Let's look at this sample. Here it's just sewn down with clear thread, but here it's woven through that chain stitch. The heavier threads, like this, make great flowers and French knots. Here's an example of what I like to do on the ends of those feather stitches. This feather stitch has little daisy chains at the end of it. There's a crocheted flower made out of ribbon. And there's those plastic flowers with pearls. And here's some buttons on a ribbon. So, all sizes of ribbon. I love this little tiny ribbon. I like this ribbon. It adds to it with the little picots on the side. You can find vintage trims. That's pink and white. That'll be really pretty. This kind of trim. You can sew that down. You could put pearls in the middle there if you wanted to. This is like a lingerie ribbon or lace. I have a whole thing of this kind. It's not exactly that, but it's similar. But I have a whole thing of it. You can get blingy and use this. Walmart usually sells this. And that could go just like that on a seam. Here's more of that heavy thread. Pearl cotton. I, f I have to do my research. Oh, wait, is it on here? No, it's not on there. But yeah, the, I love using this weight. You can use just plain DMC embroidery thread. You can use with all six strands. You can use two strands or one strand or three strands or whatever you want. It's your quilt. Do it what you want. And that's orange, and I don't want orange. Okay, this is a rayon... I think they call it gimp or something like that. But you couch that down. Like, if you put it like that, then you would sew over it with a clear thread or a pink thread. Seam binding. Just lay that on your seam. This is a wider rose. Oh, lovely. This 
So see how you could put that down. I showed this on my live stream, but this is really pretty. That could go down. You can embellish it with beads or just leave it as it is. This one and a burgundy, big old thing, a burgundy satin ribbon. Okay, this, these could be the center of your blocks. And I have four of those. So I may make four blocks with those as the center. This is like a bobbin lace. This is really pretty. Put it on a corner or wherever you want. Here's some light pink. Hem, it's called hem facing, but just use it for the, the lace. It's so, so very vintage. This was more, this was from a shirt. So I could take, I could use that just as it is, or I could take those apart. I'll probably just use it as is. So there are lots of things. Here's a wider ribbon and you can ruche it like, I will show more techniques as we go. Right now we're just gathering gathering our treasures, okay? So you've hopefully you've thought about your fabrics and now you're going to think about your trims. Here's a white or off-white. It's machine made, but it's still really pretty. I don't have any samples right here, but you can use doilies. I think Mona sent me this one. But that could go on something. Maybe maybe a bigger block. Let's see, I found this is from a blouse. There's more wide lace. And just I think they sell this to make um, friendship bracelets out of. So it's affordable. You can get a whole bag of it. Here's some tiny mauve. But yeah, they're so, and I don't spend a lot of money. I am cheap. I am so very frugal. Thrift shops, what have you, yard sales. Beg your friends. Tell them, hey, I'm doing a crazy quilt. Do you have any embroidery floss or lace or anything like that? I'm doing these colors. Use, <laughs> use your powers of persuasion. So, oh, did I show you this? Because this would be cool just like it is, like that, but I cut it apart and used it here. So, now that you have some idea of what you can use for embellishments, please let me know in the comments if you're doing, if you're playing along, what colors are you using? Because I wanna know. Inquiring minds want to know, okay, here's something you should not use. This is a rayon. Look what it does. Unless you like the ratty bird's nest look, I'm just going to right now get rid of this because no bueno. I thought it was cool. I think I bought it at a crochet. It was on a cro for crochet. Well, it should stay as crochet. <laughs> 
So, in the next video, we're going to assembly line nine blocks. We're going to, let's see, I don't, is that a good way to put it? We're going to piece nine blocks in an assembly line fashion. So you can see that this does not have to take forever. You know me, I like buzz through my projects unless I don't want to and then I, <laughs> then they take me forever, but usually I want to. So we're gonna buzz through nine blocks and then after that we will, I will slowly show you each embellishment technique. So that's all for now. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And like I said, please let me know in the comments if you're playing along and if you are playing along, what color, and if you're not playing along, why not? All right. I love you.